The elusive Mashati Walding Killers in past who have given the Greater Massacre subregion months of terror returned on the night of December 31st to give Ugandans a nasty start of 2018. In Bukomansimbi, they hacked over 30 people, killing four of them instantly, and two others while undergoing treatment. The Inspector General of Police Kale Kaihura and the Commander-in-Chief Yoweri Museveni have been to the villages where the New Year killings took place. Both the president and the IGP have tried to explain why the killers, who even scatter leaflets in the places they attack but don't even steal property, have not yet been put out of action by security agencies. The president blamed police with the original police commander Latif Zake for failing to mobilize the people to counter the thugs who have been active for several months. General Museveni expressed disappointment that toll-free police lines had not been availed to residents, yet the area has been suffering such attacks for a while. The IGP said the killers are terrorists who will be defeated by intensifying community policing. Bukomansimbi Local Council 5 Chairman Mohamed Katelega blamed residents for lack of vigilance, saying they had seen a car without number plates that night but had not alerted police. The just-ended year, 2017, had horrific security incidents that included the broad day slaying of Assistant Inspector General of Police Andrew Felix Kawesi in Kula Bilo suburb in March, the brutal slaughter of dozens of girls in Entebbe and Nansana by rapists who sadistically mutilated the victims' private parts, the dangerous standoff between police flying squad and internal security organization at Lunguja suburban house of the late Kawesi's alleged lover, believed to have information about his killing. The arrest of senior police officers for allegedly kidnapping Rwandan refugees to hand them over to the very state they are fleeing and the appearance on television by self-confessed Chifesi killers announcing that they have joined police work but are still being deployed to commit robberies by senior security officers. Writing in Uganda's leading daily, The New Vision, after the Bukomansimbi New Year killings, police spokesman Emilian Kaima advised the people to take their personal security seriously by reviewing their house designs, lighting systems, property markings, participating in neighborhood watch, working closely with local police, and reading more about security.